I have just moved to Bali and this is where you should do. So this is actually our new home. It's a villa in the center of Changu in Bali. And me and my boyfriend have actually decided to live here for the next few months. One of the main reasons we moved to Bali was the lifestyle and the affordability. Cost of living here is, is uncomparable to places in the world. And saying that right now, I'm actually kind of hungry. It's nearly half past 12, so it's perfect time to go grab some lunch. And I thought I'd take you guys along with me and show you what you can get out of here. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. We've just pulled up to this ramen bar to get some lunch and everything looks amazing and it's really really affordable. So this chicken, fried chicken, was only 30,000 which is like two dollars for sharing as a starter which is really good. Together with two drinks, a starter, and two ramens, it's 200,000. Oh, now we're back home, and I'm gonna explain to you more things that you should know about living in Bali. The food here is one of the main reasons that I think Bali is one of the best places to be. Okay, but the thing with Bali is that eating out can actually be cheaper than buying the food in the supermarket and making it at home. It's actually crazy. Our friends from Brazil who've been living here for seven months order food every single day. They order lunch and dinner because it's cheaper for them to do that than making it at home and buying all the ingredients from the supermarket. And also, I think another important thing to consider is that Bali is such a small little island, so it's obviously gonna cost a lot for things to get shipped here by boat or by plane. So it actually ends up being better for you to eat out in a restaurant, something that will cost a lot cheaper in comparison to the UK, America, Europe, the Western world. In some ways, I kind of feel bad that I'm eating out every day because it feels like a luxury. Like in the UK, where I'm from, if you're eating out like that every single day, you've got money and you're basically balling. I do love eating out, I mean, who doesn't? But on the other hand, I do actually really enjoy cooking. But that's a good thing about this villa, is that we have a little stove top here and we even have an oven. So even if I don't wanna eat out every single day, I can literally make my own food at home, breakfast, snacks, these kind of things. So obviously that can save you a lot of money as well. So obviously the food is one of the main things that I really enjoy about Bali and there are so many options. Wow, it's kind of overwhelming how many options of food that you can get on this island. So the lunch that we just paid for was two drinks, one starter, two ramen bowls for $13. You'd be able to get one ramen bowl back in the UK for that price. Yeah, so I think that just goes to show how affordable the food is here. I mean, not all the time. There are some places that I think are kind of expensive because this island is so touristy. But at the same time, you're eating out, you're meeting a lot of people. I think it's a great way just to enjoy it. You're not spending as much as you would half as much in any other country. So yeah, fuck it. Secondly is obviously the accommodation. Look at this. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about how long we are renting this villa for here in Bali. So we actually decided to rent this villa for three months just to test out the vibe of living here in Bali. And I think that's actually what a lot of people do. But I actually can't think to compare something like this to what you'd find in the UK or in a major city in Europe next to the beach for the same price. It literally, I don't think it exists. And I think three months is a great amount of time to really settle in, the minimum amount of time to settle into a new place, a new city, make friends, kind of feel like as if you're a local a little bit by having your favorite bakery, your cafes, knowing people, the best places to go out. So everybody wants to know, how much does it cost? How much are you paying? We are paying $1,200 per month for everything included. So that includes Wi-Fi, electric, obviously the rent itself, somebody cleaning the villa 
three times a week and somebody cleaning the pool twice a month. So this actually took us quite a while to find the right villa and house to look at. We took a look at a bunch of different houses and villas, but what I've decided to do is I'm gonna make a separate video explaining and helping you guys through the process of where to find the best villas, the things that you should look out for, the best prices and the things that should be included in the house or the villa. And also the location, because I think the location is one of the, one of the priorities that you need to think about if you're going to move to Bali. But that's just one factor. Another reason that people come to Bali is for the community and the amount of people that you can meet here. The sense of community here in Bali is just insane. You have to think about how famous Bali has been and is till this day. It's still growing. There's still so many people that are content creators, digital influencers, digital nomads, people who work online remotely living here in Bali. So you're always going to be inspired. There's so many Facebook groups and WhatsApp chats that are I've already entered into to meet different kind of people and also when you're doing activities if you're joining new clubs if you want to start a new hobby you're gonna naturally if you're a social person or even if you're not going to meet people I think it's inevitable that you're gonna meet some amazing people on this island so these are just a few of the reasons of why we have decided to move to Bali and some of the reasons that I think you should too but in the next few weeks I'm gonna be creating more content more videos about things about Bali, living in Bali, the tips and the best things that you should know if you want to live on this island. So if you want to keep up with that, just subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.